Hello y'all, good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome. If you're new here, my name is Lauren, AKA putting them first here on YouTube and Instagram. And this will be my second video for this year of classroom setup. So it's the very next day. Um, we're just gonna rinse and repeat, same thing again. I am a smidge later this morning. It is 7:42, but that's okay. I'm parked outside of my classroom right now. Um, today, I have a few different things in mind, little projects. I brought some stuff with me from home that's gonna help me get some stuff accomplished. Got my coffee. I'll share with y'all what I ordered. I have a venti shaken espresso with soy milk, no classic syrup, and Splenda. So essentially, it's just like three shots of espresso, I think, and then they shake that up with the Splenda and the ice, and then they pour soy milk over the top of it. It's not very sweet at all. Um, so if you like sweet coffee, I wouldn't try it, but I tried the salted caramel cream nitro cold brew the other day, and it was so sweet that I like threw it away. Um, so now I'm on like a bitter coffee kick because that really just did it for me. Um, but anyways, that's my go-go juice this morning. And I have, like I said, a few things from home. I brought a hex key because someone sent me an Instagram message that, um, they help like with furniture. A lot of the furniture, if you want to lower it yourself, you can just use a hex key and it's really easy. So I brought a hex key, um, some other things that I need to laminate and such. But anyways, let's go ahead and get inside. Same story as yesterday. Um, probably going to leave around 11. So we'll have about three full hours and I didn't mention this yesterday but they're doing like new teacher orientation for the whole district in our cafeteria so yesterday I actually got to see one of my friends from when I did new teacher orientation she was in my group of six if y'all watched like I'm pretty sure I vlogged during all of that I know I did as a matter of fact so group of six was it was like the best new teacher orientation I mean, obviously it's the only one I've ever been to, but I think it's like the best one you could possibly have because we did like mock teaching with like groups and um, the, everyone else while you were teaching had like an assigned student role that they were supposed to like portray. It was really fun, but also super helpful. And anyways, one of the people who was in my group is helping. Um, she teaches at a different school in the district, so I haven't seen her. So it was really nice to see her yesterday and they'll be here again today, I think. Um, but the parking lot will be like way more full when I leave. Yesterday I left and I was like, holy cow, that's a lot of people. But anyways, that's enough chit chat. Let's get into the classroom, talk about what we're going to get done today and make it a productive day two. Here we go. Oh my God. Y'all, I just came in, turned my lights on, and had the scare of a lifetime. Um, we have, hold on, I'll show you, these like fluorescent lights. And I mean, sometimes the bulbs go out, but that's it. So I come in and I flip on all my switches. One of them shot sparks, started making this super loud noise. It was smoking, like crazy like sparks are literally falling from the ceiling i turned i ran back over to the light switch because it didn't happen immediately i had like turned them on and walked over to my desk and then it started happening so i ran back over and turned all the lights off and just ran to fa to find a member of our custodial staff and he said something about like it's the ballast is bad so i'm just gonna put tape over that switch so i don't accidentally like turn it on again but let me show you the ceiling because it literally is like charred Okay, so obviously it's an old building, so don't judge my ceiling, but this is like what it normally looks like. And boom, literally charred. That is so wild, y'all. Okay, but anyways, I'm awake now. If I wasn't up before, I'm sure awake now. Um, also, when I came in, this thing had fallen again, so I put that back up. But now that that has happened, I apologize for the background noise from the street, but I had to open my door because it was literally smoky in here. And like I said, like that whole group of people like literally 100 people is in the cafeteria for orientation and like can you imagine if me little old me sets off the freaking fire alarm and we all have to like evacuate for a freaking light bulb i mean that would only happen to me but it's off now we good um i'm gonna go ahead and get everything out of my car when i say everything i mean like my backpack and my coffee because i just like came in the front door and that's it so i'm gonna grab those things and then we'll get going okay got my stuff out of my car i'm like awkwardly hiding my backpack because it has it's really cute it's like a north face from our school store so it has our school name and mascot and like a little thing on it so it's adorable but i can't show it to y'all but anyways inside of my backpack is the hex key and i was about to grab that but i just looked and i'm pretty sure that the kidney table that i wanted to lower 
just needs a Phillips screwdriver, which I should have freaking looked yesterday, but let me see if I have one of those. We good. I am going to start by lowering the kidney table. I think I'm going to lower the other one, the round one, even if I don't keep it, just so it like I can play with it and see if the crate seats fit and stuff while I'm at it. So let's... Let's get to work. I feel like Bob the Builder when I use the screwdriver or like the staple gun even. I feel like a construction worker. So feeling myself this morning. Here we go. Ta-da! That was so easy. It literally took me like one country song from a playlist and the table was lowered so bang um i to make it easy just put it on the lowest setting and then i tried sitting at one of the little stools and my legs fit fine under the table so i feel like the little people will definitely fit fine under the table so yay kidney table back in action let's go see what kind of tool we need to lower this bad boy when i say this bad boy i mean the the round table well holy cow this one's like reinforced hold on i'll show y'all like bolts on every leg it must be sturdy af okay i'm a little bit conflicted because yesterday i was thinking and i'm like what if this round table is sorry someone just drove by with their fun morning music playing anyways what if this round table is someone else's kidney table like me who i was like really missing it and i didn't like take this from anywhere it was just placed into my classroom um so yeah, I'm a little bit like hesitant to use it. However, uh, there were like tables just in the hallway and I saw my square table was in the hallway, the one that I used to use with the great seats. Um, but my teammate asked if she could use it as like a center's table and I keep this one because um, she needed a like small student table like that as well. And I said yes yesterday and then kind of realized like what if someone needs this round table back? Um, so now I kind of need the round table because she has the other one, which like is my fault. I didn't even think that through, but I think I'm just gonna, um, if anyone comes and sees it and is like, that's my table, I'll be like, take it. So I'm gonna lower it down and put the crate seats at it. And then we'll see if anyone comes looking for a round table, it's all theirs. If anyone working at my school is watching this and you're missing a circle table, it's in my room, come and get it girl. But for right now I'm gonna lower this one down. I feel like this one's gonna take a little longer because like I said, it's got crazy super enforced bolts and stuff. But I'm excited because this one is like newer than the one I used last year. And the top of this one is the same gray as like, all oh, y'all can't see, as the other tables. The only difference is that the edging is blue instead of black, like the normal student tables, but that's fine. Um, less talking, more working. Let's go ahead and drop this bad boy down. Um, I was really feeling myself after I did that kidney table so quick. I've tried twisting these and it's like not budging at all. I've tried like double hand, like mm, trying to get it to go. That was a cute face. It's not working. So I hate to like bother the custodial staff because I know that they have way more than we do going on right now as far as like getting the building ready for school year, especially during another COVID year. But I really don't think I can get this to go by myself. Um, so that's a bummer. I hate to ask them to do anything, especially after I just like chased them down in a panic about the light bulb, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to ask for some help on this one. So let's sideline that project for now and find something else to work on. I think there are a couple things I could work on, but my next order of business is going to be getting all of the things back up on this front board. Um, luckily I took like lots of pictures and stuff, obviously videos <laughs> my first year. Last year I didn't have anything on the front board because we didn't like have students in the room until way late, like March. And at that point we already had like our digital systems and our other systems in place. So I just kind of neglected this front board, but now <laughs> we're gonna actually use it, which is just like, I'm getting so excited for this year. I was talking about it last night with um, my husband and just saying like, I'm so, so pumped. And at the end of last school year, I definitely was ready for summer. And now I'm just like so excited for the school year. So anyways, I'm really happy to see all those things back up on the front board, which means we're gonna have learners in the room. Although someone commented on my last video and said like, just be ready. Cause you're gonna have roomies and zoomies. 
And I thought that, that was like the most hysterical way to say <laughs> students in the room and students at home. Um, so I'm definitely gonna use that terminology in the future, roomies and zoomies, so cute. But hopefully I'll have only roomies. That's what I'm crossing my fingers for. Let's get that board going. all back in its place with the exception of what was on like this super huge blue pocket chart that class captain sent me in my first year my first year I had our rules for centers on there um they're in this little bag it's like the one thing I didn't put back just because I kind of just like cut them out haphazardly and shoved them in there um but then I didn't really have a great system for how to display centers rotations like if you're in blue group, you're gonna be here. If you're in green group, you're gonna start here, that kind of thing. Um, but I do really like those centers rules because if we like made hand motions for them, um, I'll link them down below if I can find them. But one of them was, I just remember clean up neatly and then we would do the other hand and completely. We had like a whole routine we would go through before we went to center. So they knew exactly what was expected of them. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to make some like centers cards or find some. Um, that aren't too, too pricey on TPT for displaying the rotations themselves on that pocket chart. And that'll be more like for me to see and know exactly where they need to go right away. Um, because obviously with this big table up here now, before my desk was like catty corner. So the easel was more this way. So that pocket chart was more visible to them. However, now with that rectangle table there, the easel is kind of like blocking the pocket chart. So it's okay that the center's rotations will be there because that's mostly for me to know where to tell them to go. So that'll be okay. Um, assuming we're even allowed to like send them to centers, but everything else is up there. I have our complement system. I'm going to use that again. I talk more about that in my first year videos, um, but essentially it's like a token economy and I use one of the calendar pocket charts from uh, the target dollar spot and they are, it's numbered one through 18. I do student numbering. And then in that little pink thing are little like rhinestones from Walmart, little like gems. And it's like a token economy. And I would, would just like drop one in when we're in circle time in the front or I notice someone working hard, I would just walk up and they can hear me dig my hand in that little thing of rhinestones so they know. And then I would just like ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, make it rain compliments. So it worked really well for us in my first year. Um, we'll do that again. And then marbles is like our whole glass whole group system now i know that our school has kind of um taken to class dojo so i don't know if maybe dojo points are going to replace that like physical complement system um which is fine if that's like what we're doing then that's what we're doing that's what i did last year because i didn't like obviously have them in the room so i needed some way so we did it that way um but for right now it's there so there's that. The schedule is missing a little piece at the bottom because in my first year we didn't do science or social studies and this year we are going to. I had to like pull up our new schedule that we made on Google Drive and like make sure it all matched but I know that this calendar set or I'm sorry the schedule set that I purchased my first year came with that card. I just didn't print it because I didn't need it so I have to print cut and laminate that to bring in. I want to replace this arrow. It's like I think I printed that on the fly like the second day of school my first year because they were having a hard time like keeping track of like where we were and like how much longer until lunch kind of deal. So I want a new like pointer. I know Target Dollar Spot this year had like magnetic little hands that like, which is so cute, but I haven't seen them. Um, honestly, I didn't even know they existed until Brie at Teaching with 
teaching the tinies, I think her Instagram handle is, till she posted them, that she did them for a gift. And I'm like, oh, I really like those. It's probably too late to find them now, but whatever. Um, surprise of the century, the voice level lights, they still work. Like they're not out of battery. They're just tap lights that I glued like hot glued for magnetic buttons to the back of. Look at them. They still work. I was shocked. Um, if anything, if one of them ever died in my first year, I would just take it and I would put that at voice level three and take the voice level three light and put it wherever I needed it in that moment. And then I would change the batteries at the end of the day, but I like never had them at a voice level three. So that was like where I put the dead lights. <laughs> Teacher hack. Um, anything else we need to chat about? I don't think so. I put Echo on the easel. Echo is the uh, Foundations Owl. If you have Foundations, you know exactly who she is. But her little wings are just Velcroed on there, so she's ready for the first day of school. Get it, Echo. Go, girl. Um, I think the fretboard's good, honestly. One little thing that I saw, I'll have to put her Instagram handle like here because I don't remember exactly like where the periods go. Um, but she used this little like crayon as a holder for her pointers and I thought that was so freaking adorable especially because I love the pink one but I have all of them because your girl is crazy um the pink one got so super sun faded on the top so I think I'm gonna use this one since the top doesn't really match anyways I'm just gonna take the top off and use this to hold my little pointers so let's do that oh <laughs> there's box tops in here I'll just throw those away like that is so cute come on come on that's so cute i'm obsessed i'm wondering if i could like somehow make it magnetic so i could stick it somewhere here will it stay oh my god that is so cute you're kidding me right now you're actually kidding me that's adorable Okay, well, there's that done. All right, honesty hour. Um, I've just been like aimlessly walking around my classroom and like an endless loop since I finished doing the front board. I don't know if that happens to anyone else during classroom setup, but it's just like, I go look at this area and then I go look at this area and then I go fiddle with this and I'm just like, I need to pause. Um, so one thing I actually did do is I put the pillows out at the library. I don't know if they'll be able to stay, but honestly it was just so that that pink tote big like bucket thing would be empty and they could stack and all fit in one closet. So I did that and I went ahead and pulled out the calendar pieces because my calendar obviously is on June from when we ended last school year. So um, I am gonna update the calendar, but what I'm gonna do right now, I know quite a few teachers do this and I think it's a good idea so that I don't get stuck wandering around my classroom again is I am going to I don't have a whiteboard a lot of people do it like all on the whiteboard really big like all the things that they want to get done I don't have that I have an easel though so I'm gonna make a little listy list on the easel of like all the little things that I want to do because I know there are things I'm just gonna like put my hand on a swivel look around like I'll write like calendar repaper this board like organize this number line sound wall like I just want to make a list that way I have more like planned days for tomorrow and Monday and I'm definitely gonna need Monday so let's make a list okay we have a list it's a very long list I'll turn you guys around and just hold my phone so you can pause the video if you want to read through all the things that I'm trying to get done in the next two days ba, 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 ba. yeah it's a lot of stuff the biggest thing um that I would like to get done. This is very ambitious of a goal. I really want to organize my library. I know I was supposed to do that, not supposed to, but I said I was going to do that my first year and then it got like pushed and pushed and that's like the one thing I never did. Um, my mentor teacher in first grade during my master's internship, she did not organize her library and her reasoning was that they never got put back in the right place anyway so it like wasn't worth the big headache of like doing the whole thing at the beginning of the year because then it was like an ongoing headache throughout the full year of just like trying to get them back but I've noticed my first year and then also what little time we had to bookshop last year in the room it's really tough when like there is no rhyme or reason to where any of the books are especially when there are so many books and like I want them to find things that they like without having to bookshop for like 30 minutes that what was like the toughest part was for me personally I want all of them to have the opportunity to like bookshop regularly and in order to do that efficiently and quickly I need to be able to help them find exactly what they're looking for right away and not dig through 20 however many book bins so the library is at like 
top of my list right now. Also, all those books. Sorry, we just had a supply delivery from the office, which was awesome. I got a brand new set of um, student dry erase boards and erasers, which is a surprise. I mean, I have the set for my first year, but never a bad thing to have extra. And then a whole big box of the markers, like Crayola markers, you know, the ones that are like sorted by color. So yay for that. But what I was saying is all of the books that were on these brown bookcases um, in my closet, like overflow books kind of are now just piled on this student table and then some of them are like inside of the crates that I use for crate seats. So the library is going to be, I'm thinking, either tomorrow's full half day project or probably most of the day on Monday. Or that could even be like a project for teacher PD days when like we have time to work on the room in the afternoon. So anyways, that's like where my mind is at. I also have a lot of books that I just like never put back after the end of the school year when students gave them back to me. So hopefully, a little organization. I've been eyeing um, Polka Dots Please library labeling and organizational system. I have a different one that I bought my first year, but I really like how hers, one, it matches the rainbow theme, two, it has like actual pictures on the labels, and it comes with like the stickers for the books too. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. You guys will find out when I do that. But for right now, since I obviously don't have like all those labels printed, I can't print in color at school. I printed at home a small number line. And when I say small, it's like it's the smallest one I've ever seen. But the issue that I've had with number lines is that like none of my walls are long enough and uninterrupted to hold the full 1 to 120, but I want a number line. Um, I didn't have a full number line in my room when I came in. I had most of one, but there were like pieces missing and I never found them. Um, anyways, so I am going to, I printed this like rainbow cute small number line on cardstock this morning in color at my house. But what I want to do now is laminate it and um, we don't have like a school laminator at least last year ours was like out of commission all year and I don't know if it's fixed yet but I saw a hack last night on Instagram where you can like laminate a long thing if you like cut and then glue the lamination sheets together on like a personal laminator so I'm gonna try that I mean the whole number line doesn't need to be laminated in like one piece um, but we'll see what it looks like I think what I'm gonna do is cut the whole number line and that's gonna waste kind of a lot of elimination like on the sides i don't know like what would you guys do obviously you can't tell me in real time so that's tough um let's just get it out and then i'll kind of fiddle with it and see how it goes okay i got the number line itself all cut out it looks like this hold on i'll flip you guys around so it is made to match the colors of the Hello Sunshine collection from Schoolgirl Style, which is the borders that I have in my room, which is why I chose this one. Um, like I said, it's really small. So once I get it up on the wall, we'll see like how teeny it is. Um, this like set came with another size as well, like a bigger size too. Um, in case this one is like too small, I don't have to like repurchase another one. It's just the same exact number line, a little bit bigger and the same color scheme and everything. So once I get this one done and put up on the wall, if it's like way too little, then we'll just switch to the bigger size. It's not that big of a deal, um, but it's all cut out now. And I just kind of like assembled the pieces. I think that I can do three like per sheet um and it's gonna take me like a few sheets so I'm gonna try to like kind of cut some and use the glue stick and position it and show you guys what I mean about like using more than one sheet and doing one long continuous strip through the little like scotch laminator we'll see if this works I cut out the number line in like long strips and I jointed four pieces of them together. And then this is how I'm starting. Let me show it to you. Okay, so like I said, one, 
two, three, four pieces of number line per strip. It took me four like strips to go all the way to 120. This is the first lamination sheet. So this one is bound on this side like normal. And these are glued to like the inside so that they don't slip. So now obviously this is like overhanging a lot. So on this lamination sheet, I cut the binding off of that side. And apparently what you're supposed to do is just keep like sticking them with the matte side end and like gluing them down if that makes sense and then you'll be able to run it through as like one long sheet i low-key think that this might actually break my laminator but you know in the name of science for you guys we gonna find out so here we go It has been assembled into its long little lamination sheet. If anyone who is watching this has any connections to anyone at all who works at Scotch, perhaps in the laminating department, um, this is just a cry for help from teachers everywhere. Can you please just manufacture extra long pouches? I would pay a, a lot of money for that instead of having to do this. So Scotch, if you're watching this, sponsor me give me credit for that idea thanks all right now um here comes the the fun part let's see if it breaks my laminator my money is on um yes Ooh, the, the little extra long pouch i jerry rigged is already falling apart all right guys well it's looking promising here we go okay we're just gonna go for it and i'm gonna like coach it through the whole time and cheer it on and give it words of encouragement here we go Oh, this is no way this works. Okay. Okay. Come on, little laminator. You got this. You can do it. Oh, maybe not. Realizing now that I probably should have done this video on a time lapse because it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> oh, I'm realizing now where I messed up. Yep, it's not gonna work. Well, this is like watching a train wreck. I just realized you guys have been staring at my legs this whole time. <laughs> Sorry, little people table. Okay. Oh, this is the last one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Keep working. <gasps> oh, man. We were so close. We were so close. <gasps> My fault. I didn't line it up very well in the beginning. And that seems to have really hurt me in the end. Well, you guys, I think it might be salvageable. <laughs> Oops. So it was going well, and it was going well, and it was going well until it didn't. Um, because I did like such long pieces, it was really hard to put it in in the beginning, like exactly straight. So by the end, you know, sometimes they start to like angle, but I think it will be okay if I just like cut it and then really force it flat. I think honestly, this will, this will buff. And now I just have to do this like last piece that didn't fit. Do do do. Yay. Glad it worked. Don't know if I'll ever do it again or recommend this to a friend, but thank you for coming along with me on that journey. Sorry. I, um, dropped you on the floor. Oops.
Okay, I got the number line hung up. Um, it is pretty small, so I'm gonna think on that, and maybe get the bigger one like laminated and everything, but that was like a whole production. And when I was hanging it up, I just kind of started here and thought that like it would get to a good place. And obviously it ended like in the middle of that door. And just because of who I am as a person, like do I have to move the whole thing down three inches? No, will I? Absolutely. So that's on the list for tomorrow. The only things that I have crossed off are number line and calendar because I put all the pieces in for August and I have it just flipped to like the first day of school. Um, it's hard to see with the glare, but it's just set for the 23rd, which is our first day. But now it is 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna head out. I'm glad I have like a more clear direction for everything. And like that list, I swear it just keeps like getting longer and longer. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of it on my phone. That way I can look and do like anything I can at home um, tonight and then like over the weekend before Monday if I need to, things like, making labels like for the center's rotation pocket chart and stuff like that um originally like yesterday i was so confident like oh it's only gonna take me a couple days because i'm doing my classroom the same way but like you just forget how much stuff there is to do like organizing and setting up my teacher desk area will probably take a half hour and um, making like a new arrow and making schedule cards and just organizing the library and making a sound wall and like these are all like endeavors and so I'm realizing like oh my goodness I'm gonna need every minute of setup but good for y'all that like to watch and follow along because there's gonna be lots more vlogs where this came from but for now I am going to head home I'm not gonna end the vlog just yet though because I wanted to show you guys Teddy once I get home um he'll have his debut his YouTube debut um so I will grab some lunch i'm feeling like a little taco bell today and then i will see y'all at home with my little fur buddy okay i don't know you can probably see his little tail he'll probably pop up on the couch here in a second but i wanted to introduce you guys to teddy kurtz before i end the vlog teddy is a boy he is a mini bernadoodle someone asked yesterday what breed he was actually his dad was a mini golden doodle so half mini poodle and half golden retriever was his dad and then his mom is a bernese mountain dog so he is one quarter mini poodle one quarter golden retriever and then half bernese mountain dog he's the fluffiest guy he is so cute he'll be four months old on monday so he's still very much a baby um we got him about a month ago so he's been with us since he was about three months old um i wanted to get a dog over summer that way we could do like crate training and get him used to some alone time and kind of get him out of like the initial like potty training stage and everything so that's been really great um I was gonna show you guys him but he just walked into the kitchen I think to get some water so hold that thought I'll be right back okay oh my goodness oh my goodness he was laying on the tile in the kitchen because it's cold and obviously he's a very furry fella so he likes the cold tile but here's teddy teddy do you want to say hello come here oh he's so floppy oh <laughs> teddy say hello hello my name is teddy i like to chew stuff <laughs> he's the cutest ouch but anyways we are going to in the video here um thank you for coming along with me for day two of classroom setup hopefully unless teddy eats me alive um we will be a little more productive tomorrow um got a lot of things i can work on while i'm at home so that way when i get to school it's just kind of like putting them where they go which is good but i will see y'all tomorrow thank you for all of your help and your suggestions on yesterday's video especially with the sound wall and like whether i should put them up as we go or whatnot um if you have any comments questions suggestions about anything that you saw today or anything that was like on the list please let me know they're always really helpful it's like i have a whole army to set up my room instead of just doing it myself so anyways i will see you guys in the next one i love y'all and thank you so much for watching okay teddy wave goodbye come on Oh boy. <laughs> Good job, buddy.